Hi guys, Dave Epic Hunter here, and then this is my another forex market uh, preview. So let's have a look. Uh, we had a pretty good week last week. We made some pips, uh, as we can see here, and uh, but we get some stop losses, which is the part of the game. So it doesn't matter. But we didn't have any losing trade. So let's have a look uh, what happened and what we had. Uh, we had actually some trades here. We will go through of them, and we will see. So. We had a pretty good trade on the New Zealand dollar. This one was from the on, which we closed uh, on the Friday. Here was the nice entry on this uh, zone. Um, on this zone, which was the pretty strong zone. So uh, I entered here and uh, I expect the rebound and market continue down uh, because it was pretty strong uh, volume area. Uh, what else we had? We had a uh, very nice trade on the Euro GBP. It was on Friday. I entered this trade uh, because of uh, the uh, because uh, market was reaching the area uh, where was the big rejection of the price and then strength, uh, strong sell off. So when I saw the price reaching this. Uh, this uh, level again, uh, we reaching this level again, and I saw that uh, the volume was rising, but uh, the the candles was making this uh, spikes. If I put it on the five minutes, 15 minutes, uh, the candles was making uh, these spikes uh, around here. It was the signals for me with the, with the high volume that uh, there's uh, something changing on the market. So uh, I paused the trade as the sell stop and. Uh, we took the profit uh, down here on this conversion zone. Uh, so I expect the market to go up again because uh, the GBP is weak, but we will look at it uh, in the preview. Uh, what else we had? We had uh, uh, this trade on the Australian dollar franc. Uh, it was actually this trade. I'm actually not happy what uh, happened here because uh, we had pretty good entry. Then we we went down like 160 pips, even 170 pips, and then we took uh, stop loss here. Uh, okay, I'm a little bit uh, I'm a little bit upset about this, but uh, if I took I could take profit here, but this is not what I'm targeting on. Uh, my targets are much much higher. And I'm expecting go the market much down here, somewhere here. So I'm targeting like 400 pips. And uh, as I'm trading like daily or uh, four hours time frame, it mostly happens uh, that the market is going up and down, up and down before it uh, gets uh, uh, to the direction which I'm looking for. So I better took uh, stop loss and I entered market again. And I think they could come uh, to pick up this uh, our trade. Uh, again so we will see what's gonna happen here and uh, i don't have a problem to take this uh, small stop loss of course the take profit of the 160 70 pips could be better but uh, i think we will have more chances to enter and enter again and uh, continue on the trade outcat uh, what happened here again <laughs> similar situation we have actually a lot of these uh, stupid stop losses this week uh, we took we took the trade. Uh, trade was going down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Then we've been in like 80 80 pips profit, and then uh, I moved the stop loss to the positive area where we get the stop loss and market is up again. Okay, <laughs> bad luck it happened, but uh, I think here will be another chance uh, to enter the market again, and I will I will we have this. Uh, uh, pending order here but uh, I will change it I will move it a little bit here and I think uh, there is a still possibility for uh, something like a 200 pips trade so let's see next one is a uh, cat JPY this is still similar things what we are happen what is happening is now so here we had uh, one entry here uh, where we went uh, again like uh, 150 pips uh, take profit and the uh, market went back up so it's uh, still somewhere here then we had uh, this trade uh, which I'm talking about we entered here and uh, I put the protective stop loss so we took like 30 pips uh, on this stop loss and market went up again and I entered again so 
this is a similar situation i'm actually expecting market go much much lower because the canadian dollar is very weak now and i will speak about it later and uh, i expect go market much much lower so uh, we took protective stop loss we enter it again and uh, we will see if the market will go our direction uh, what the next uh, this trade i actually didn't post to the to the our group this is just my personal trade which i entered it was very stupid trade <laughs> it happens sometimes i try to go intraday trade uh, the long on the gbp out but uh, i took stop loss uh, here because it didn't look very nice this is what sometimes happened and this is uh, the problem with the psychology because the market was going we actually was taking a lot of stop losses and uh, i let myself to put into the position where i feel felt like uh, maybe i need some trade or something like that and this is what happened then so and i don't trade intraday too much so uh, it was my mistake i took this uh, i took this, took this punishment and uh, this is what i have learned some lesson that i will not do trade what i'm not sure and what is not in my trading plan so yeah okay another one is uh, euro gpy what's happening here on this guy okay here is what happened uh, yeah here on the euro gpy uh, we had again we had a nice trade from the top uh, i didn't take big profit like 200 pips because i'm targeting much much lower my target is here so i'm targeting something like 400 pips uh, and but what is happening now what i see now what is market trying to do i see that uh, we have another entry here but what i see here uh, they're trying i think that because there's gonna be a lot of sellers so i think there's gonna be here uh, here will be stop losses and they're going to take them so i think the market will make uh, another high and they could go somewhere even higher this is why i'm putting my stop losses always above the high and above the wall number which is mostly very protective so uh, we took this stop loss we have one trade here and i think i will put uh, another trade somewhere somewhere here to enter again and we will have two trades going uh, down so let's see uh, but this is uh, in my trading plan another stop loss was uh, the usd cat uh, usd cat we have we had a pretty good uh, good pretty good trade uh, here i entered a sell market was going like sideways but uh, what i see in this what's happening here i saw that they building the long positions so when i saw it i put the hedge trade so i pull i we had a sell i put the long below and uh, when market go went down i didn't know if they will go even lower we had to, we had to profit here on one to one uh, 24 so i was thinking like if they go lower i will take take profit of the short and then i will leave the long go up but uh, i put the stop loss of this short here so for the case if they go higher we will take stop loss and we will have just the long trade what's actually happened so we took just the 20 pips and now we have this running trade which have like 127 pips and uh, this uh, usd cut trade i think this is a massive one I expect them to go even somewhere somewhere to 1.33 area and it's gonna be good trade it's gonna be like 800 pips possibility possible trade of course they could might come back again move somehow uh, but uh, I think this trades can happen because if you if you go to the weekly this is the this is the area where they trading the high volume and um, i think they will come back and usd is getting very strong now so this trade is nice and uh, uh, it's going out new zealand dollar this trade this trade ah uh, how to say what to say now look we took uh, we took long trade we went uh, just uh, 40 pips in the in the drawdown then it went up like uh, 400 pips then they went down i moved the uh, moved the stop loss just uh, just 
how much is it just 20 pips so they pick our stop loss and then boom 350 pips up uh, okay <laughs> This is shame because we had to take profit here, so we could take like uh, 200 pips. But um, this is what happening in the forex. So we didn't have so much good week, but anyway, we did some good trades uh, as well. We had this one. Yeah, again, uh, we had the sell trade, and uh, uh, we took stop loss here. And in the cut, uh, cut Swiss franc is now. I actually not sure. Um, what I what I want to do here, but uh, I think I will be t trying to if they will go higher somewhere somewhere into 0 0.79 area, I will be taking the shorts. But uh, as you can see, it's like uh, from it's like more than more than almost month in uh, in like uh, in like nowhere, you know. They are going just sideways, up down, up down, up down. And uh, there is pretty big, pretty big swap on the cut chef. So I'm not uh, looking for any trade at the moment. If they will go higher, I will be taking the shorts. But right now I don't stay in the in the, in the trade. So this is the trades what we had uh, last week. Uh, overall, as I already said, it was like 329, 21 pips. But then we had another another trade close to this. Uh, this one this uh, euro gbp trade so it was another 70 pips so last week we made something like 391 pips <laughs> with all those stop losses there was much bigger potential but uh, we didn't make it uh, but uh, no problem we, we overall we, we winning uh, this week uh, and market never ends and uh, i believe we will have more chances we have a lot of nice trades running at the moment and uh, and uh yeah it's still good so what we what we what what's what's gonna be happening this week uh i will be focused on the mainly on the australian dollar on the canadian dollar and on the euro uh, so we have a uh, monday tuesday there's nothing but i expect the market open with the big gaps because the jalen Janet jalen is speaking over the weekend and there is a uh, 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 should be something like a New Zealand votes or uh, I'm not sure but uh, even Monday Tuesday we don't have a news it doesn't mean that markets not gonna move uh, sometimes they what what I expect to do is uh, uh, the market will be preparing for the for this news so mostly as they want to I expect the okay let's start for, for the schedule uh, so Australian dollar uh, I, I see the weakness in the Australian dollar so is, there is no news so I think they will be strengthening the Australian dollar up and when the news come they can they can move it lower you know so they will be preparing their positions uh, same things could happen with the Canadian dollar yeah uh, I think it could be more like a USD cut they will go lower and uh, on the news uh, as well here on the news, uh, they will they will use news to uh, even weaken the Canadian dollar. So, uh, so as the USD cut, we had this trade. So I think they could go lower somewhere and then even higher. Yeah. Uh, what else is there? Uh, um, and the last thing uh, will be of the most important news will be the euro. So on the euro USD, as I said, uh, the um the uh, the us dollar is strengthening and uh, euro is uh, euro is right now in, in this it's something like an indecision zone so uh, let's see what could happen on the euro i will i will show it in the chart it might, might be gonna be better if we go straight to the charts and i will show in the charts so um okay so this is the outcome but as i was speaking about the euro let's go to the euro chart okay so what what i see here i said that the euro is right now in some some kind of like an indecision area so uh what i see here is that actually euro is now moving in this uh euro is now moving in this area they are here this is like uh, they don't know if they want to go up, if they want to go down, and uh, 
they try to broke uh, this uh, these levels but they didn't succeed so they go up and uh, we will see uh, right now at the moment uh, I don't have any trade but if they go higher uh, I will expect them I will take a shorts here because uh, this uh, this um, zone uh, up uh, is like uh, there is a lot of bearishness I see the uh, the spikes uh, with the big volume candles so I think they will not not have a very easily to break it up and continue more likely they will go up and uh, then maybe to retest this area again and if they break it more bearishness will come so then I can see potentially like 1.5 something like that but first they have to break this so i will be taking the shorts here to test uh, this area again this is what's happening on the euro uh, what else i have outcat outcat uh, this is the trade uh, this is the pair where we get uh, this stop loss so what i think could happen here uh, i see actually the weakness in the australian dollar and in the cat both but uh, the cat uh, is i think the weaker but as well as i said uh, before the proper weakness of the canadian dollar i think it could strength first so uh, this could break uh, go much lower to this um, like point of control and there i'm gonna be looking for the longs uh, which could go potentially to 0 0.99 or even or even one one in extension uh, I'm putting the stop loss always uh, below the last low and uh, the even the uh, whole number. So my stop losses are below, below the 0 0.65. This is the trade which I will be potentially looking if uh, if the price action will be falling like this. Australian dollar JPY. We already uh, in this trade and. Uh, and I think they could go much lower as uh, as I see some bearishness here. I see the uh, these candles which show the bearishness. I see these uh, spikes here. So we already in the trade. But what I think uh, the market could could in here where we enter the trade, a lot of people took the shorts. I should wait a little bit more, but. Uh, uh, we have a pretty wide stop loss we used our money management so i think we are okay but i think the market could go take us much higher because uh, they will go for some stop losses above here so we will wait and uh, then is here's a lot of potential to come here into this area somewhere here to test it Australian dollar, New Zealand, uh, New Zealand dollar. Okay, last week we had a pretty strong move on the New Zealand dollar uh, after those news, and uh, I'm, I'll be looking for the shorts, but not yet because I think uh, a lot of people already shorted this, but uh, I will be waiting till the till the market uh, till the market uh, reach. Wait a second. Oh, I saw it because i think a lot of people shorted here and they have stop losses here yeah so market will come to get them they will go for these stop losses so i will be waiting uh, in somewhere in the 1.128 uh, to enter the market and i will have a pretty wide stop loss but i will put it uh, about the 1.1 1.15 and uh, i think i should be safe there and the market could go down here Australian dollar USD uh, this trade we already have and it's very similar situation as the LJPY uh, Why I'm taking, taking this trade uh, as well a lot of bearishness here Which I can see with these spikes and the high volumes and marketing market is uh, right now in the in the, in the correction and I see like a strong this angle for, so I think this trade could go down to test uh, this uh, weekly weekly uh, weekly trend line
Yeah, and then this is very similar what is happening on the CAD JPY where we have a track. Uh, because it's still still similar thing that the CAD Canadian dollar is weak and uh, uh, I think it's weaker than JPY and uh, uh, they could come uh, to test uh, uh, this uh, weekly or let's say daily uh, daily um, trend line. We already have this trade. Okay, Eurocat. Uh, okay, this trade I have prepared, but uh, I'm not sure yet. This is just uh, just uh, preparation. Yes, Euro GBP. As, as I said, we had this nice trade from here. And right now, I will be looking to take a long so to uh, when the market drop here uh, into the 0, 0.8808 area. I will be taking the longs here um, because uh, I see uh, the strong volume on on these lows. So uh, I think that uh, this move up, this move up. Uh, is uh, is uh, is is start of the of the trend, and uh, um, with this move low, they could just uh, test this area again and move it, uh, use it as a starting point for the uptrend. Uh, and I think they could go uh, minimum. They will come uh, to test these highs. That's for sure, and uh, or somewhere here, or eventually even up here. So. I will take. Uh, I think uh, that 0 0.91 is uh, reachable. Is reachable there. Euro JPY. We have already trades uh, on this pair, but uh, I think the market will go much, uh, not too much higher, but uh, definitely they will make this high again. I think they will come for uh, because uh, some people have a stop losses here. For sure, they will come to get them. If they will go higher, we will see. Uh, what's, what's the worst scenario of our trades could happen is that we take a stop loss. But we use uh, good money management so and risk management. So we, I think we're pretty okay. Uh, we will see uh, how this uh, will move up uh, in the next week. Euro New Zealand dollar, it's very similar situation as a uh, Australian dollar, uh, New Zealand dollar. Again, uh, uh, I have a, I have a sell limits. Uh, I will put sell limits this week uh, a little bit higher because I think uh, the market will go still much higher, and then uh, the shorts and bearishness will come. GBP out, nothing, uh, nothing clear for me. Yes, GBP JPY. Uh, this is a pretty nice setup. We can see some bearish move now. We are, uh, I believe, this is the corrective move, and I will take a short uh, from this uh, point of controls for the retest uh, of this trend line and weekly trend line. And uh, here, GBP New Zealand dollar. Uh, what I see on this pair, on this guy, uh, we had like pretty strong uptrend. Uh, then we've been in the in the uh, in the distribution zone. So market makers move the uh, market uh, higher. Then they are accumulating, uh, they are reselling the profits and accumul accumulating the positions again. So I can see what, with this move down. Uh, pretty high volume so that means that uh, they filling the long orders to move up so they broke the high and right now what they doing actually what I what I believe uh, if they if they go uh, lower again for the retest of these highs or of this point of controls they could go even higher so I will be taking the longs uh, and uh, my take profits uh, uh, my take profits is on the 1.94 and I put this, uh, put it into this area because of the reason, because of these lows. So I believe they could come, uh, they could come uh, here. So. 
somewhere here. So I believe this uh, this could happen. Uh, this trade will not last in days. Uh, it must, it's not gonna happen in a couple hours because it's like uh, 400, 800 pips. But uh, it has a good potential, and uh, I will wait for this trade. On the GBP, GBP, what is happening here on the GBP? Uh, very, very similar situation like uh, other GBP pairs which we which we uh, tested. And uh, here is uh, now the dollar is in the game. So what we can see, we can see some uh, trend line, market going up and uh, then uh, some sell-off I, I believe a lot of people uh, entered here uh, the longs so I believe now they're going to uh, take these longs and uh, and uh, with this high volume this candle this candle this rejection shown it's showing me the bearish so I believe that if they come uh, higher here uh, into the 1.33 uh then they can go lower even somewhere here so this trade uh, i will be watching uh, very closely so we will see uh, what's gonna happen yeah this is uh, what's telling me the bearish uh, bearishness is coming inside i see the spike big rejection of the price then sell off uh, to the volume and move up is uh, with slow volume so it's some maybe kind of manipulation so New, Ze New Zealand or JPY, this trade is in the halt. I don't know, I'm not, uh, don't have the situation here. Yeah, New Zealand, uh, don't have any plan. Yeah, and this is our trade uh, on the Canadian, uh, on the UCAT. Uh, so, this is what I already spoke about. Uh, the Canadian dollar is uh, weakening overall and this is big potential to go up usd chef we already have a drift trade and uh, as i was uh, describing some uh, some uh, like like education things about these spikes and the volume uh, in here uh, uh, in our channel so okay but uh, i believe uh, as the us dollar is strong uh, I believe they can take uh, price much much higher so I will wait if they go lower I will wait uh, for what the what the candles will, will form here or if they go lower and uh, I will I will protect uh, I will put the stop losses to the break even because uh, I don't believe uh, they will go lower now uh, they can do they will go lower but uh, what they can do I think they could go even somewhere here or here and uh, then they will go lower so we will see what's gonna happen uh, I will be watching this trade and the similar thing is on the USD JPY we have a trade here and it's going higher so we will see if they will break uh, if they will break uh, this uh, this 1.1.4 uh, area. If, if this will hold, uh, we still have a good chance uh, that this trade is going to improve. The silver. Yeah, on the silver. On the silver, uh, we have a trade, we have a long trade, but uh, I think they will go lower again, even lower. So we will see. We will we will put uh, we will put um, the break even. And similar situation is uh, on the on the gold. I think uh, the gold they, as the dollar is strong now. Uh, this trade what we have, uh, we will have to probably maybe we, we will see if they will go lower. They will first might uh, make some retracement. So we will have a chance to put uh, the break even. If not, uh, I was thinking about to hedge the trade, hold the shorts uh, into the area around the 20, 20, uh, 1, 2, 3 and uh, there maybe to close the shorts and keep the longs or I will see, I will might take a stop loss and uh, I will wait uh, to, uh, for something like this. So, so let's see, let's see. 
so this is uh, this is uh, all from my uh, market preview and uh, what uh, these guys uh, if you want m more information so uh, if you want to be if you want to be uh, still informed you can go to my uh, Facebook page FX Hunters you can join and you can see more analysis and uh, and uh, all informations and that's it okay thank you very much uh, happy trading and I will I will be uh, posting my new trades and everything in the telegram channel mm, have a nice uh, rest of the Sunday bye bye